how's it going guys? Thanks for joining me and Poppy again. Back out in the Lake District National Park and uh, we've come up to another mountain town uh, with the hopes of doing a bit more fishing again. So we've just hiked up, it took us about an hour and a half to get here. Quite a warm day so we took our time. But yeah, beautiful spot. Uh, and luckily so far we've got this whole place to ourselves. I've already seen a few fish rising so it's a good sign. Not to say that I'll catch anything like, but yeah we'll give it a go. Um, tonight um, I brought the uh, Polish Lavoo with me, so it's the first time uh, actually camping in that, so I'm going to get that set up in a minute. Got a few beers to have, um, I've got the Trangier stove with me, so yeah it's going to be a good night hopefully. Hopefully the sun stays out and we'll get a nice clear sky tonight as well. So yeah, going to get camp set up now guys, uh, once I've done that I'll bring you back and I'll uh, quickly show you on the Lavoo and uh, how I've got camp set up this time around. So that's the Lavu set up now guys, it's a really uh, quick and simple set up, maybe took me 5-10 minutes to put up. I'll just put the um, pegs in somewhere near on the, on the skirt and then obviously put the main pole in and then just readjusted the uh, the pegs to suit afterwards. And I've just put a bit of a paracord on the door opening there to keep that um, held back in position. But yeah, really impressed with it. So mine is a size 3 so it's uh, the biggest version um, and there's plenty of space in there for two people, probably three to push to be honest. So yeah, on one side I've just got my setup, sleeping setup, and on the other side I've just used that for my bag and some uh, cooking gear and uh, food and what have you. So yeah, um, so I've mainly bought this for the for the winter months really, but I'd, since since I bought it, I just wanted to get out and give it a test, and I thought with with it being nice and hot today, I just thought um, I bring that and with it being canvas, it'll uh, keep us nice and cool in there. 
So yeah, what I'll do now guys, I'll, um, I'll take you inside, I'll show you around and then um, I'll probably put the fishing gate together and uh, start fishing because I've seen quite a few more rising so um, dying to get the fishing gear out and just uh, crack on with that really. So on the right hand side of me Lavu guys, I've just got the new cooking gear, so I've got my titanium plate, brush box underneath it, I've got my Trangia stove, some cooking oil, some food, water filter, uh, knife um, and my cooking pot. That's just a possible pouch from the Hidden's, Hidden, Wood, Hidden Woodsman. Um, just in there I use it for um, charges and um, camera batteries, that sort of thing. And I've got my backpack towards the end. Still plenty of space left inside. And then the other side, so I've got the ground sheet down. And I've got the um, sleeping pad, which is the Sears Elf Kit Numo. A really good sleeping, sleeping pad, lightweight, really good summer. Uh, late spring sleeping pad and then I've got my um, uh, summer sleeping bag and then um, my uh, city summit pillow it's a really good pillow that actually it's um, a couple of breaths and it's inflated and it's got a really easy to use um, valve just push in for, for letting air in and out um, depending on how firm you want it so yeah but you can see guys plenty of space in here so me and Poppy can have loads of room and you can definitely get two people in here with some gear and say maybe three people um, that will push with the gear outside so yeah, really cool. I uh, didn't take that much space up in my backpack to be honest. I just put it in the bottom of my backpack and um, yeah, it wasn't uh, too heavy carrying either so really good, really impressed with it. But for now guys, I think we're just going to get the fishing gear put together and start doing a little bit of fishing in the lake. So I'm back from fishing now guys, uh, I was down there for about an hour and unfortunately I had uh, no luck. There's plenty of fish in there, I could see them all rising but it's, um, yeah, no luck as yet. But yeah, I come back, uh, I wanted to get Poppy back in the shade and uh, give her some water and something to eat. And she's just in there now behind me relaxing on the, uh, on the air mat and I'm sat on the floor. <laughs> but yeah, the um, plan now guys is that I need to go down to the lake, collect some water. For that I'm going to use my uh, Sawyer Mini. I always keep that in my backpack with me. I just say it's the filters in there with the uh, the water bag just wrapped around it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna collect some water, uh, come back, start cooking some tea. And tonight I'm just using my uh, Changi fuel, uh, uh, fuel stove and uh, my bush box uh, for cooking. So I'm just gonna put my Changi inside the fuel uh, bush box and use my titanium plate and my uh, titanium mug for, for cooking my food in. So yeah, tonight I've just got some uh, courgette and some pasta. So yeah, it should be a nice meal. And uh, courgettes homegrown by, by my wife. So yeah, uh, really nice. Uh, I've had some at home already, so yeah. Thought I'd bring one on a wild camp with me. So yeah, me and Poppy will have that later on. But yeah, for now guys, uh, going to get that water collected. Um, come back. And once I start cooking tea, I'll bring you back. Um, and then, you see later on, we'll have, some t have a few beers and go back down to the lake and do a bit more fishing. 
Um, but for now, we'll say get these few few jobs done, and then I'll bring you back um, when we're cooking tea.
So I've packed the fishing in now guys, I've just come up on the hill and uh, we're from camp. There's a the Lavoo in the background. Um, but yeah, I've just come up on the hill to just enjoy the sunset in the distance. And it's turned out to be an absolutely incredible day, evening. Nice and mild still. The wind's picked up a little bit. But yeah, it's still really warm and absolutely like a nice, lovely evening. The sun's setting. Not too many clouds around, so hopefully it's going to be a nice clear sky tonight. But me and Poppy just uh, exploring the area a little bit here. Now we're going to go back to camp, crack another beer open, just sitting in front of the, the lavoo and just, uh, just enjoy being out here. Poppy's enjoying herself. I was really debating to, about bringing her today because it was really warm, so I, was, I almost left her at home, but then at home, through the clouds came over and I just thought it might be the same over here, and luckily it was. So she's done really well. And obviously she's been chilling out in the lavoo as well, which is nice. Surprisingly uh, a lot cooler in there, so I'm pleased I brought that and otherwise a normal tent would have been too hot for her. But yeah, beautiful evening. So we'll get back down to the lavoo now guys, crack another beer open, sit down and just chill out, enjoy being out here. Alright okay, guys, back in front of the lavoo now. Just went up a little bit high there to get a better view of the sun sunset and uh, what a view it was. Absolutely incredible. Considering this is like about a two hour drive from my house and then maybe say an hour and a half and be two hours hiking up this morning this afternoon. Can't absolutely can't beat it. Absolutely incredible. Say so anyone who's never wild camp before, just honestly give it a go and you'll you'll never look back. It's a great way just to see no phone signal, just chill out. Spend some time on your own or if you've got a dog, have a few beers and just enjoy the outdoors really. You don't even have to bring beers, it's something I like to do. So a few, nothing too, nothing too heavy. But yeah, so this, this guy, is, this beer now is a uh, twisted sour, um, Valencia and Bloods orange sour. So yeah, sounds pretty nice. I like the sort of citrus uh, beers and uh, IPAs and what have you. The other one was uh, fairly similar. Similar, I think that was a uh, uh, don't know, crushed the can now anyway. But yeah, it was very similar. So yeah, cheers, guys. Wow, it's very citrusy that, as, as, as the label suggests. It's like an orange peel. <laughs> you can see that. But yeah, really nice. Man, just couldn't ask for anything better. He just uh, sat here having a beer. Nice warm night. So I put this on, just the wind was picking up a little bit. But it's actually uh, really warm. I could probably take it off, to be honest. So yeah, I think I'm just going to, um, for tonight guys, just uh, have this beer, probably still up a little while longer, it's actually 10 o'clock at night now, but it's still really light. So we'll probably give it another hour or two, just sit up and enjoy, enjoy just being here really. And then um, I've got my little uh, UCO candle lighting, lantern, sorry, I'll uh, probably rig that up and put that inside later on. It's quite dark in there, so I'll probably use that tonight, save my um, head torch batteries. And yeah, probably just get in the bed with Poppy. I've got a few pod podcasts to listen to. Um, I've got a few Paul Curtis to listen to, so I'm looking forward to listening to them. And yeah, probably just nod off and then uh, get up early in the morning, hopefully for the sunrise. Cook some breakfast and then we'll uh, think about hiking out after that. So guys, yeah, the Polish Lavoo, just going back to that, just a uh, really cool tent. I know they've been around on YouTube and Instagram for a good few years now and a few people have modified them and some of them look really cool something I might look to do actually myself in the future but yeah I think I paid about £50 for this I know sometimes you can get them cheaper and uh, or a little bit more but um, it was brand new never been used before got a bushcraft show and yeah really impressed with it so I'll probably, probably not use it now until winter or maybe I might use it in the woods but it was mainly a winter tent so hopefully get a little log stove to go with it and yeah and just uh, hopefully that'll keep me and pop me nice and warm during the during the winter months so hope you like the video so far anyway guys uh, I know I've got, had some really nice comments again um, so yeah I'm really grateful I've had a few new subscribers since my last video so I am uh, really grateful that uh, people are tuning in and liking the videos and you know dropping me comments and saying uh, how much they enjoy them so to everyone that's doing that, really appreciate it. 
Um, so yeah, got some more trips planned like I said. This is one trip. Uh, next video is probably going to be a gear video in the woods. And then I'm, I'm still thinking about going to Scotland for a few days. Um, and I've actually bought some uh, Nivea Skin So Soft <laughs> on the back of my last trip. Who's uh, recommended that? So I've got some with me now actually, but luckily it's uh, it's quite breezy, so it's not an issue at the minute. So yeah, and then obviously um, I'm almost going to buy a canoe now as well. So no, I mentioned that last time. And I think I'm narrowed it down to one or two. So I think next few weeks I'll be uh, getting a canoe and then hopefully getting a car rack and a, a canoe rack that goes in the car and all that good stuff. Um, to try and do, start doing some canoe videos. So yeah, just wanted to say like th thanks again for tuning in, guys. If you're still watching this far. Uh, I'm probably going to chill out for a little while longer now. Probably finish this beer off and then uh, probably call the night. So I'll catch up with you guys in the morning.
Morning guys. Slept really well last night in the Lavoo, me and Poppy. So it's a two man Lavoo, or probably three man really. Um, all the space and then Poppy decides to lie on me most of the night. <laughs> yeah, we kept each, kept each other nice and warm though, so yeah, it's nice and comfortable. So I fell asleep with a UCO candle lantern burning away last night. Um, just giving it a little bit of ambient lighting while I was just chilling out with Poppy. I must have nodded off. So early hours this morning I noticed the wind was picking up, woke me up actually. And uh, but yeah, Lavoo was uh, sturdy, never moved. So yeah, really cool tent or oh, shelter. I'm really looking forward to using that in the winter and getting to say a little uh, log burner in there. I think that'd be ideal for winter camping. So this morning I just got up, made a coffee, just been sat down there on the rocks by the lake, just enjoying the view. And yeah, now guys, I'm just gonna uh, make some breakfast, chill out a little while longer, and then probably start packing up and uh, have a nice uh, slow walk back to the car. There's a few areas on this uh, where I want to check out, which were nearer where I walked in. Um, for some maybe future camp spots, so I want to check them out on the way out. But yeah, another beautiful morning. Puppies having a walk around the lake. But yeah, going to make some breakfast now, guys, and I'll bring you back in a little while. Right guys, I've had our breakfast now, just down by the lake. Just enjoying the views for the last 10-15 minutes before I need to start packing up. Absolutely incredible place this, somewhere I'll definitely be back. I haven't bothered doing any more fishing this morning. So I've uh, I'm run out of time really, I need to start packing up in a minute. But next time, come back here, definitely gonna ring the rod again. Probably bring some different lures and uh, give it a go again. But absolutely great location for camping and fishing. So yeah, we're going to go back now guys, I'm going to take the Lavoo down, get my backpack uh, tidied and put everything away and then we're going to start hiking back towards the car. Right guys, it's all our gear packed away now. I'm going to start hiking back towards the car, say it's about an hour, an hour and a half to hike back to the car. But I just wanted to say from me and Poppy again, thanks for watching the video, um, really appreciate it. And if you liked it, uh, hit the thumbs up button, or drop me, drop me a comment, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, also drop me a comment, I'll try my best to answer them. But yeah, until the next one guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. <laughs>